Semaglutide. 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 That's been really a game changer for weight loss for a lot of patients, and allowing them to lose weight that they've been really unable to lose in other ways. Semaglutide's a drug that was approved back in 2021 for weight loss by the FDA. It is a type of medicine called a GLP-1 agonist, and it works on a special type of hormone in our body called an incretin. And these hormones are released and try to help our stomach stay full. They make it so our, our stomach doesn't empty. You stay full, and then you don't want to eat as much. This leads to weight loss. They've been an incredibly effective tool in, in trying to combat weight loss. And however, they've been an expensive tool and somewhat inaccessible for weight loss, um, though that's getting a lot better. They do have some risks associated with them. The main one we're seeing is that delayed stomach emptying. Very rarely that can become or like permanent problem. It's usually just bad for the first month or so, and then it, it seems to let up, and people don't feel like they had a, two Thanksgiving meals at the same time all the time. But there's a very small risk of uh, medullary thyroid cancer. To my knowledge, that was only ever seen in rats and hasn't ever been shown in humans, but if you have a family history of medullary type thyroid cancer, um, which is a very rare type, um, we would hold off on using it. So, and a lot of people have asked, what makes semaglutide effective as an anti-obesity drug? Isn't it a diabetes drug? Well, the answer is yes, it is a diabetes drug, but it has this additional benefit of significant weight loss. Past 10, 15% body weight loss, which is really tremendous. I think one place we need to be careful with this medicine is where it's just, doc, I really want to shave off like five pounds or 10 pounds. People are definitely using it that way. And I know that there are pop-up clinics around that you can go and pay them, they'll give you a shot and that could be risky and I'm not sure that the benefits outweigh the risk in that situation. Semaglutide, even though it was originally designed for uh, diabetes um, and approved for diabetes care close to a decade ago, it's been safe and an incredibly effective tool for weight loss. So other people ask what's, what makes semaglutide so popular, right? Um, it seems like you can't turn around without hearing about so-and-so being on semaglutide. Part of the reason is it's been so effective. There are certainly people who don't respond to it or that have um, side effects that make it not an effective tool for them that they can't tolerate the medicine, but it has been a very useful medicine that's been really a game changer for weight loss for a lot of patients, allowing them to lose weight that they've been really unable to lose in other ways. I think that has just really been why it's taken off is because it's been an effective tool. It's been working. I get asked a lot what other challenges um, or barriers there are with semaglutide. The, the biggest one from a medical perspective is the um, pain, the, the stomach pain that comes from the stomach not emptying very quickly. People really will say, man, I just feel stuffed all the time. It hurts. It feels like I just had two Thanksgiving dinners. That kind of problem has been big. It definitely leads to some diarrhea in a fair number of people. There's actually been a new thing. Some of the hospitals are now requiring people to be off of these medicines for two weeks before surgeries because stomachs aren't emptying as much. We also get asked a lot about the compounded options. Um, so this has popped up because uh, there are some pharmacies around who can sell semaglutide compounded um, at a cheaper price than uh, if you were to buy the FDA approved name brand version. The cost difference is pretty significant. It's about $1,000 a month for the name brand one if your insurance doesn't cover it for you at all. And it's about mm, 100 to $200 a month for the compounded version, depending on where you can find it, which what your pharmacy might charge. It's obviously a very big difference in cost. Now, is it the same medicine? Well, it better be. And 
really I've had patients, I've had lots of patients on the compounded version and they've responded really well to it. Um, the compounded version gives us a little bit more flexibility that we can adjust doses very precisely and in smaller increments than the non-compounded version uh, would allow us to. There are places that say um, you shouldn't use the compounded version because it might not be what's actually in the shot that you're getting. I mean, that, that's a pretty big claim to say that a pharmacy is selling you not what's on the label. And I've, I've had dozens, literally dozens of patients on the compounded version and really have seen exactly what I expect from this. Um, most exciting changes that's come with weight loss management has been this medicine, semaglutide. Before that, it was really challenging because while we had some medication options that would help, they were not as effective for sure. And the gold standard has been metabolic surgery that would adjust the size and shape of someone's stomach. Semaglutide came out a decade ago and changed that. It's getting effects that are close to as good as weight loss surgery. They're getting 20% body weight loss with these newest medications. Again, those are primarily being studied for diabetes right now. Um, and there's the terzepatide's approved and it looks like it's getting a weight loss indication um, imminently, but the triple G one is still a ways out. Those are game changers for how we manage patients' weight loss issues.